Hey, Brent. Hey. I thought you said you were going to go out and use the snowblower and clear the driveway. Yeah, I am. See? Best thing ever. No more manual labor for me. Welcome back to Live Free and Toulon. Today we have a special edition and we are talking about autonomous robots. Yes, you heard that right. Autonomous robots. The future is here we are reducing the amount of work that we have to do when we have to do it how we have to do it and we can get on to the things that we really want to do my name is brent and again this is live free and tool and today we are talking about yarbo yarbo is an autonomous robot that snow blows snow plows your driveway and you don't even have to get out of bed all you have to do is get up go drive to work or do whatever you want to do. You can watch it work too. It also has other modules such as lawn mowing, so you can lawn mow without getting out of your bed once again. And you can blow your leaves, you can tow a trailer, you can do security walks, you can do just about anything that you want to do, but we are going to focus on snow blowing. So I have been in facilities management for 22 years. Yes, I started, well actually I guess 23 years. I started in 2002 and I have been steadily growing into the industry and I will tell you if I had this machine 22 years ago, I would be a different person today. Let me tell you, my back probably wouldn't hurt as much either. Ouch, yes, yes I did hurt my back actually trying to pick up some snow. But we're going to talk about Yarbo today. I'm going to do a full review of it. You're going to see it actually work and buddy, does it eat. I am telling you right now, you are not going to be disappointed. So first, what do you, what should you expect whenever you get Yarbo? Well, first of all, it comes in a lot of packages and as it should, because it is a machine. And I'm telling you, the machine is awesome. It comes first as a base unit and this base unit comes with cameras on the front of it. Uh, it comes with a manual plug-in cord. When you open it up, you're going to have to take it out of the crate. And then what do you need to do? We well, need to put the antennas on it. You need to put it together. You got to do all that stuff that you need to do, but it's neat. It's organized and you have plenty of instructions. And if you don't like to read with the quick startup guides, well, all you need to do is you need to visit online and Yarbrough has a ton of videos that's going to specifically show you how to do this. Now, as you get it out of the box and you do that, you're going to need to unbox the snowblower version if this is the kit that you intend to get. And once you get that, all you need to do is you need to take it out. It clips pretty easy. You hook the power up, you put it together, and it's pretty simple. Now, it does come with a remote. It looks like an Xbox remote. All you need to do is you just need to turn it on. You need to connect the remote and you can just drive it anywhere you really want to. It's super simple, super nice to have, and it's like playing a video game. And I tell you something right now, I absolutely adore it. It is amazing. Now, it's not light, nor should it be, because you need to be able to move all of the snow and everything that you need to do. It is a tracked robot as well, so it doesn't have the wheels, so you're gonna have maximum traction as you're doing the work. Now, as you open up all the packages, uh, the battery's gonna come in a separate package too. You're gonna put that in there. That's a 36 volt nominal voltage, and it's big power, and it looks like a Terminator once you get it, but you're gonna put it in, and you're gonna drive it right out. Now, after you do that, you're gonna to wanna to hook the Yarbo up to your phone. So download the app, get the app ready, and all you need to do is connect the Yarbo by turning it on, you search for it, and it's so easy, I am telling you. It is the easiest machine I've ever cooked, uh, ever hooked up to an app, and you're off to the races. Now, the next thing that you need to do, once you get that, you're going to set that to the side. You need to hook up the data station. The data station is going to connect to satellites because this is satellite GPS coordinated and Bluetooth connected as well. That's how it's going to be autonomous and really do the work for you. Once you hook that up, you're going to have to get the power station or charging station up. And all you do is you plug that in, you find it on your phone, and you connect it. Now, whenever you get the data up and going, you're going to have to connect that to your phone as well. And you're going to have to have an Ethernet port. And that's actually not that hard to do. You're going to hook it in outside, anchor it to the ground, anchor it to the side or house, whatever your flavor. And you're going to go ahead and hook that up to an Ethernet port. You're going to recognize it. You're going to add it. GPS is going to be up. Once you add your charging station, it's going to GPS locate that as well. 
And then what you really need to do is you have to go into your app and you're going to start creating your map. And all it asks you to do is you start your area map and you're going to go into it and you're just going to do the perimeter of the area where you got to do the work. And that's it. Now, from there, you can choose whether to do a circular pattern from the inside out or you can do straight line patterns as well. Now, for me, I wanted to do circular just so I could see what it's like. It's a little bit more work, but hey, I did it and it worked. It worked really well. Now, once you get that all done and you solidify it and you get your area maps in and you really plot your line back to the charging station, well, here's the thing. It's going to go out on its own whenever you want it to. You're going to create a schedule and it's going to do that. Not only will it do it, let's say it runs out of battery. Well, when it gets down to 20% of battery, it's just going to go automatically back and it's going to recharge and that is going to alleviate just about everything because it's just going to keep working. All you need to do is keep the area clear so it can do its work. And even if you don't, someone walks up to it. Well, it's going to recognize the person. It's going to stop. And then it's going to go right back to working as soon as the area is clear. So, and if you hit something, it has pressure gauges, uh, pressure sensors on the front. It's going to stop. It's going to tell you it did it. It has an emergency stop on the top of it. And it has little gates on the front of it as well. And that's going to do its thing. Now, I've done a lot of talking, but what I would like to do is I'm going to show you let's just let's just get to work you need to see how this actually does and i am telling you it's going to blow your mind <laughs> Check this out, you can see real-time progress as it's happening. It is done, recharging in 51 seconds. Okay, so now that it's 
cleared it with two charges. It's gonna turn around. And let's see this thing charge. It's gonna back up real slow. It's probably gonna stop, go forward just a little bit. How are we doing here? How are we doing? All right, we can see the blue light. It's going up, going up. Going down a little bit and ready to charge. And that's it. That is it. Look at this. One charge did my entire driveway. And this thing so charging. And now it's charging all on its own. Now look, now I have the settings turned off for person detection. With all the technology that's built into it, with all of the autonomous work, with all the parameters, all the settings of all the shoots and the augers, honestly, this right here is next level. And I am so proud that Yarbo trusted me to actually do a review on this. Well, first, you gotta prep it up, right? You have to create spatial awareness for it, and that means you need to clear everything so it can actually work and do what it's meant to do, so you can do what you need to do. But if you create the open area for it to work, it'll just continuously work, it'll do its thing, and I mean, it's just doing its thing. <laughs> And that's the thing, I don't have to do anything. It's already mapped out. I did everything I need to do, and that's it. This is just the next step in innovation. As you can see, it's just doing amazing. And one of the things it does is it can sense whenever it's having a hard time, it'll back up, it'll adjust, it'll raise and lower the snow blower so it can get over any humps, and it's just autonomous. And whenever the battery gets down, you can set this. I have it set at 20%. It'll automatically recharge and it'll stop to go recharge and then it'll come back. Now, it doesn't have a heavy load. Now, granted, right now I am in New England and uh, specifically New Hampshire and this is one of the lighter snowfalls that we've had. And you like that? I actually set that so it's not hitting me. So you can adjust just about everything on it. You can adjust the tilt of how far it throws the snow, how hard the actual auger work so how far it throws it the direction that it throws it you can adjust just about everything within the parameters or what's really fun is you can actually take it and you can use your phone or a remote and then just work it manually all right so what does this mean it means that it's on your schedule imagine if you can't snow plow imagine if you can't remove the snow yourself imagine if you just need to go to work and you rely on someone else to actually plow well guess what you don't have to rely on anyone else anymore this is on your schedule you're not going to break your back you and do whatever you want it's going to continuously do it so you're not going to run into any more issues and i think that's what we all really need and considering how much people spend on plowing this is a great solution because it's going to pay for itself easily within the first season and then all you have to do is continue to use it and then just enjoy watching it. and I think that's what really kind of gets me is that's what I end up doing is I just I just watch it it's actually really fun to watch so we are done how did it do so I'm walking through my front walkway here and it's so clean it's so clear you can see the driveway through here and this is where Yarbo lives right now it's on its charging pad it finished charging look at this it's charging it did its job one charge did everything and it's a pretty big area too as you can see through here right so what does this mean for you all well, as you can see, it's absolutely beautiful. Look at this. Look how clean and clear that is. And I didn't have to do anything except watch it, talk about it. My neighbors came by and they asked about it. They were yelling, hey, that's so cool. I'm so excited to have this. Have about a 70-foot driveway. Then I have a clearing in front of the barn. 
I did stop people from coming up as you can see down at the bottom but that's because I didn't want delivery drivers driving up and I really didn't want my neighbors coming up here either but just look at this there's no clumps nothing wow this is awesome and oh my goodness what did you think I mean it, it's honestly it's life-changing everything that you saw with it the clarity that we have for the pavement the abilities to move around your spatial awareness once it's cleared everything about it is absolutely insane now i have tested a ton of different tools over the past five years i would say hundreds if not thousands of tools from developers and everything else this by far is the number one tool and yes i'm going to call it a tool that i've ever tested. Now, if you all liked this video and you found it helpful, please hit that like button. Don't forget to subscribe. That does help me. This is a great hobby of mine and I love it. And do me a favor, share the video too. People need to know that this technology is out there and we can all benefit from something like this. And I cannot wait to see everyone in the next video. Go out there, try something, try something new like this. And if you make mistakes, find the solutions. You're going to take those solutions, pass them on to the next generation. And we're all going to be better for it at the end of the day. And I cannot wait to see you in the next video. Take care, everybody. I can't wait to see you.